Hello, in this session, we will look at using S3 as our backend. So in the last session, we have looked at some of the options that are available that we can use as our uh, backend to store the state file. And S3 is one of the options that we have uh, to store our S3 file on a remote location. So we can make use of the Amazon S3 bucket to store the Terraform uh, state file. Now, this backend also supports state locking and consistency checking via DynamoDB, which can be enabled by setting this field DynamoDB underscore table field, uh, which will point to an existing DynamoDB table name. So depending on the backend that you are using, you also have the locking feature. We will be talking more about your locking in the uh, next session. So locking is basically uh, protecting your state file from getting corrupted. Now, you might have multiple people accessing the um, uh, state file at the same time. And if you're not locking the state file, there are high chances that other developers may overwrite your changes. So that is where lock-in comes in. So we'll be talking about more on this uh, later on. So a single DynamoDB table can be used to lock multiple remote state files. And uh, Terraform generates key names that includes the value of the bucket and the key variables now it is highly recommended that you enable bucket versioning on the s3 bucket to allow for state recovery in the case of accidental deletions and human error so if you have the option of versioning make sure you enable it that way uh, you, you will be maintaining multiple copies of the state file and in case something goes wrong or if someone accidentally deletes the state file or there's a human error we can easily recover the uh, state file so how do you define the s3 backend so if you want to use the s3 uh, bucket as your backend to store your terraform state file you can define the below configuration within your terraform code so here, this is the Terraform block that you'll have to define. So you'll have the Terraform block. Within the Terraform block, you'll have the backend. So here we have defined our backend type as S3. So this will tell Terraform that we will be using S3 bucket as our backend to store the state file. And then we have the name of the bucket where we are going to store the state file. Now you have to make sure that this bucket is already existing. And then you have the key. So key would be basically if you if you want to have a path like inside the bucket a different folder or simply the name of your state file so by default uh, terraform uses the terraform.df state however if you're using a remote backend you can give a different name if you want so in this case uh, inside the bucket there will be a folder with this terraform underscore state underscore file and inside that folder i'm storing my terraform.df state so this is customizable and then finally the region in which the bucket is created so you'll have to basically provide this configuration within your terraform code and terraform will understand that it has to use the s3 bucket as the backend so make sure your terraform has the necessary permissions to work with this s3 bucket so the, because terraform will be adding a new file which is basically the state file to the s3 bucket so let's see an example for this so here is the code that we will be looking at uh, I will be sharing the link to this in the description or in the resources section. And here is the backend that we are going to use. So Terraform backend is S3 bucket and then the S3 bucket name, uh, your path or your state file name and the region. So you have to make sure that this bucket is already existing. So in my case, I'll have to create this bucket. Let me go ahead and quickly create this. And I'm going to create this in the US East 1 region because that is what I am pointing to. So let me go ahead and create this bucket and also here I am having a folder structure. So I'm basically using this folder to store my state file. So we will create that as well. So let me go to the bucket and let me quickly create this folder. And now when I so here you can see there's my folder created and inside this folder. I will have my state file which Terraform will create for us. Okay, so this becomes my uh, backend and uh, then i have my uh, locals which will be my uh, tags then i have the main where i'm creating two uh, instances two resources then i have the provider block i have my uh, variable values and the variables now here on the server i have the code available so here you can see this is my backend all right so we'll have to first initialize this so let's quickly initialize 
this and you can see initializing the backend successfully configured the backend as s3 so terraform understands that it has to use s3 as our backend and terraform will continue to use this unless you have any configuration changes so now that we have initialized this let's quickly generate a plan so uh, as per the configuration the code that we have this will create two resources for us so two easy to instances and let's start applying this so terraform apply and let's auto prove this and this will start creating the resources for us and once the resources are created the state file will no longer be available on the local machine rather it will be stored in this s3 bucket so let's just wait for this resources to be created and done so you can see here two resources are added and if you check your local machine we should not be able to see the state file and if you go back to the s3 bucket so let me refresh this and we should be able to see the state file so this is basically the name that uh, we have given in our backend okay so this is the name so it's user defined so if you want to use uh, uh, a custom name you can use that but this is basically how you can make use of your S3 bucket to store your state file. And let me quickly download this and let's see the content of this file. So let me open this. So it's a JSON file and this is what you will see. So this is, a, like I said, it's a JSON file. So we are able to see it in the JSON format. However, here is what we have. Okay, so here you can see this is one instance ID BD56 and let me show that so let's go back to instances And here you can see BD56, that's one server. And if you look at the other, so here you can see this is 76CE and this 76CE. So that's how you can make use of your S3 bucket as your backend to store your state files. All right, so that's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.